Welcome, besties. If you want to craft your best life, you are in the right place. It's time to craft. Today, we're going to use window clings to make gorgeous Christmas decor. I have these adorable window clings. Uh, one was from Dollar General, and this one is from Dollar Tree. And on the back side, it's got these kind of puffy stickers, which I'm going to use some of those too. And I'm going to make four Christmas ornaments using these clear plastic ornaments. I believe I got those at in my Michael's bread box or whatever, like such a good deal. They were $5 for the box and tons of stuff was in there. So here's all the little pieces I've already cut out. And so for the first one, because this is round, you know, an ornament, I need to cut this one into pieces because it's just really hard to make it lay perfectly flat. So by cutting into pieces, it really helped. The hardest part was lining up each piece because the curve kind of throws things off. But anyway, I made it work. I just got the back of the window clings a little bit wet and then, you know, worked on them to get them onto the ornament. And I put one on each side. For the next ornament, I'm using these little Christmas trees, but I made a little slit where each of the little pieces of the tree come out on both sides, and that made it a little easier to lay it down on the rounded surface. So sometimes you just have to make little slits, sometimes you have to cut them into pieces, whatever works, right? <laughs> I put one of these on each side as well. Here they are, all four ornaments. I didn't show you all of the ones I did, but because it's the same process. So I put the little window clings on there, and now I'm gonna fill each ornament with something different. So for the Christmas tree ornament, I'm gonna use these silver kind of glittery branches. I'll cut them into little tiny pieces and just put a bunch inside the Christmas tree ornament to give it a little more interest. And the little tops pop right off super easily. And I just thought that just added just an extra little cuteness to this one. For this one with the little gingerbread thing on it, I cut out these little frosted leaves. I believe those were from Hobby Lobby last year on clearance. So I just snipped little pieces and I stick those right inside this ornament. For the candy cane one, I have this beautiful candy cane ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I just cut it into little pieces and put a bunch of them inside there and I thought that was adorable. And now for my peppermint ornament, I'm gonna put this faux snow in there and I just think that's so pretty. I'm gonna take them outside and spray them with a clear glaze. I love the way these turned out so fast and easy and I bet you could do these with grandkids or kids. I just think they were super fun. For this next window cling hack, I'm gonna take the trees with the little fox and then another tree from this particular window cling set. And then I've got this metal plaque, that kind of corrugated metal, and I'm gonna make the cutest little rustic wall hanging. So these are the pieces that I cut out and I'm gonna take my Mod Podge and I'm also gonna use some burnt umber paint by Apple Barrel and a spray glue that I think I got at the Dollar Tree. And I'm gonna spray the back of the window clings and I'm just going to set them where I want on the metal plaque and just kind of press in those little grooves. And then I'm gonna add the second one, just a little bit lower, just to give it a little dimension. And I'm gonna dry it off with my heat tool that I got at Amazon, and you can check out my Amazon store if you want down in the description box. I'm gonna take some matte Mod Podge and I'm going to go over the top of the trees and make sure they are adhered. If you are enjoying this video, please hit the like button. It tells YouTube to show my video to more people and I appreciate it. Now I'm gonna take my burnt umber paint and I'm going to distress the whole piece. So I'll put, so I'm basically gonna dry brush. I'm gonna put some on my brush, wipe most of it off and then just drag it across. And I keep going over it till I get the desired look. It kind of gives it almost like a worn rust look. And I really love the way it turned out. Isn't that pretty? I'm gonna take this frosted pick from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna clip two pieces off and I'm gonna hot glue one to each side and that'll cover those holes on the bottom and it'll add a little more interest to the piece. Then I'm gonna add some little red berries from another pick that I cut off right to the center and I think that just looks so pretty and festive. 
Then I'm gonna take this rope that has these little like shoelace pieces on the end and I'm just gonna stick them through and then I will hot glue the back down and that's it. This was such an easy project. You could make this so quickly. Honestly, it just, it took no time at all. And of course, my husband loves it because it's super rustic and he always loves the very rustic DIYs that I do. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know what you think. For this window cleaning hack, I'm using this Farm Fresh Christmas Trees window cling that was part of another set and i'm using that little crate from dollar tree plaster color paint by waverly and my burnt umber by apple barrel i'm going to sand down the entire crate around the outside and bottom and then i'm going to paint the two planked looking sides with the plaster color chalk paint then i'm going to take my burnt umber and i'm going to take my mister and i'm going to spray a little water on the places where I'm going to paint with the burnt umber just so I can create a faux stain and then it won't go on quite so heavy and then I will wipe off the excess and we'll do that on both sides and the bottom and partially inside that the part you will see and you'll you'll see that in just a second here. I also took what was left on my brush and I dry brushed across the two sides that had the plaster just to give it a distressed look. Now I'm gonna lay down some Mod Podge on one of the plank sides, and then I'm gonna take my window cling and I'm gonna place it right on top. Once I have that position where I want it, I'm gonna take my brayer and just roll it across to make sure that it is adhered really well to the surface. I'm gonna add one more coat of Mod Podge over the top just to kind of seal the whole thing in and then I'll dry that with my heat tool. I'm gonna to take a nail file and just in a downward motion, go on the two sides where a little bit of the window cling hung over and that gives me a nice clean edge. I put some foam inside and then I've got these really cute little bottle brush Christmas trees and this faux snow. And what I'm gonna do is use a spray adhesive and spray inside, you know, onto the foam there. And I'm gonna just start pouring in my faux snow until I get as much in there as I need to make this look nice and full. I'm gonna take my trees and I'm going to hot glue on the bottom and then make a little space so it's not right on the snow but it's more on the foam or the part that's glued to the foam. And then I put the green flocked one in the middle and then the two white flocked ones on either side. This is such a super easy project and it is adorable. I did not put anything on the trees since it said it was like a Christmas tree farm so they shouldn't be decorated yet. But I absolutely love this one. You'll have to let me know what you think down in the comments. It was super easy to make. For this window clean hack, I'm going to use those little bells that you see right there and some of the snowflakes and this glass jar. I'm going to take some Mod Podge and paint it all inside the jar because I'm going to add some of the faux snow. If you haven't already subscribed, I would invite you to hit the red subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. Now that my Mod Podge is generously applied to the inside, I'm going to pour in the faux snow and then I'm going to shake it up, roll it around and try to get the whole thing covered on the inside as much as possible. Then I'm gonna apply some Mod Podge to the back of my window clings, and I'm going to add each one to the side of the jar. And I did not need to make slits in these because the jar is curved but not rounded, so it, it just lays on very nicely. I wasn't too fond of that kind of light green background, so I decided to take some white paint and just very gently pounce it on there, you know, like a dabbing motion. And I got a little too much on, I wiped some off, but then I fixed that. I just feel like it added so much to this little jar to have that kind of muted white. It looks like there's snow on the outside and on the inside. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. 
once I do that to all of them, I decided to cut up these frosted picks and make them a length that they would look really pretty sitting inside of the jar. And then I've also got these other little branches that look like they have icicles on them or ice on them. And I'm gonna add some of those in the middle as well. And I think that just looks so pretty. It's got that snow feel all the way around. Next, I'm gonna take this really pretty ribbon that I've had in my stash forever, and I'm just gonna wrap it around where the jar rivets are, and then this little bell garland I'm gonna add as well. And I think that just really makes this look beautiful, and it's two-sided, and I love it. And I hope you do too. Let me know what you think of this one. For this window clean hack, I'm gonna use these little candy canes and this little succulent frame thing from Dollar Tree, some crimson Waverly chalk paint, and my Rust-Oleum linen white chalk paint. Now I have a lot of candy cane decor from last year when I made some, I'll link that video below. I thought this would look really nice because I've got them all on a tier tray. I'm gonna pull out that little center piece. Of course, the succulent came right off, and then I used my heat tool and my little spatula to remove that hot glue that was down there. Next, I'm gonna take my crimson chalk paint and I'm gonna paint around the top edge and then down on the inside edge. Besties, I would invite you to follow me on social media. All my links are down below in the description box and definitely send me pictures if you make anything that I might have inspired you to create. Now that the front and the inside is done, I'm gonna take that white chalk paint, I'm gonna paint the flat center of the inside and all the way around the edges and the back. There it is, all done. And then I've got my little window cling. I'm gonna put some Mod Podge down first. And then I will put the window cling right in the center slightly larger than the little inside of the box so I'll make sure the top is flush with the edge and then I will trim off the excess on the bottom with my exacto knife once I have that trimmed I'm gonna put some more Mod Podge right over the top this is such an easy project and it's gonna look so cute in my little candy cane tier tray I'm gonna add some Mod Podge to all of the rest of the piece except for the back, just to make sure that it's nice and sealed. Once that dries, I'm gonna take this red and white Baker's Twine and I'm just gonna make a teeny little shoestring bow. I'm gonna hot glue it just to the center of that top portion, and then I'll trim the edges. I just thought it needed one little extra thing and it matches the candy cane and I think it's super, super cute. I hope you guys like this one. It was so fast and easy. Honestly, you could do this in no time at all. And I just love that little candy cane window cling. It's adorable. You'll have to let me know what you think of this one in the comments. I hope you love these window cling hacks as much as I did. Be sure to let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite and if you would like to recreate any of them. Thank you so much for watching and I want you to know that you are truly a blessing to me. I'm going to have a video up on the screen at the end. If you enjoyed this one, definitely click on that one next and if you do, I will see you there. Until then, God bless you. Bye!